Hey guys, Teresa Santa here with iBrand Your Business, bringing you a new tutorial using a new free online tool called Photojet.com. This is a tool to create beautiful collages for your social media cover photos, headers, posts, or just for fun. Here are some samples of the possibilities you can create with Photojet. They have pre-sized templates to create a Facebook cover, Instagram post, Twitter cover, YouTube cover, Google Plus cover, creating Pinterest posts, and as you can see, here are a few fun things too, like magazine covers, cards for the holidays, and so much more. I am going to take you through their design board to show you how simple this tool is to use. I'm already in their site at photojet.com, and I'm going to click on Make Collage. And because our channel is full of Facebook tutorials, why not use the Facebook cover template here? I'm going to use photos that I am using for ibybfamily.com's Shopify shop. Once I click the template I want to use, you'll notice all your options. If you are a Canva user, this will look a bit familiar. Photojet seems to be a much more condensed version of Canva and really simple to use. It makes the task much quicker. FYI, as of this video, there isn't a place to create a user account and save your designs to their system. Moving on, as you can see, you can either choose a template here from the side. Scrolling down, you can see all your options. You can add text. You can add clip art. And you can choose one of their backgrounds or click on the Choose Image button to upload your own from your computer. You can also upload images from your computer and your Facebook profile here on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and click back on the template option so I can show you how quickly you can have your graphic ready for your Facebook page. Let me scroll down and choose this template here. I click on it once and like magic my template appears on my canvas. Now I can upload photos from my computer or Facebook to create a beautiful Facebook cover. I click on the Add Photo button and start selecting the image I will use. Once the image is uploaded, you can simply drag it to the spot you would like or you can click on Auto Fill button and it will place the same photo in all the photo placeholders. But I don't want to do that. I want different photos in these spots. A bit of advice. I really don't know if this will change in the future, but as of this video, if I remove the photo using the trash icon, it will remove the placeholder and there is not an undo button. So if you mess up, I found that Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac works just fine as an undo command at the beginning. But sometimes you do have to start all over. I found that sometimes the undo shortcuts on my keyboard stop working. Another thing that I noticed is that Photojet scales your picture to fit, but sometimes the picture can't get any smaller. See? So you may need to use another source to make your photo smaller, upload it again so that it fits better. Again, this may change in a future update of Photojet. Moving on, I am going to try the undo keyboard shortcut now, which is Control Z on my PC, and place the pictures in the right place. Okay, give me a sec while I upload all my photos and click and drag them into place. And if you drag the wrong photo into the wrong slot, you can always replace it with another photo. It's not a problem. You can just drag it on right on top. For the text, I'll double click it to select it and change it to Family's a Little World Created by Love. For the word love, I want to select a heart shape. I'll click on my clip art and look for my heart with color. Again, another thing that might change in the future, but there wasn't an area where I can change the color to my clip art. Okay, so now let's make some edits. I want this picture to be flipped horizontally so you can see the cute baby's face. I'm going to select the picture and this menu will show up. Hovering over the icons will give you their purpose. I'm selecting rotate and flip and I'll select flip horizontally. Okay, and for this larger picture here, I want to add an effect. So I'll select the picture, click on my effects icon, and select whichever effect looks best. If I don't like any of them, I'll select none. 
Notice that you have levels for opacity, exposure, and clicking on advanced options. You can play with the brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue to further change the look and feel of the photo. If you really mess up, you can simply click the reset all button. Okay, I'll add a few more effects to my other photos here. Lastly, I want to change the font. I'll double click on my text to choose it and click on the A icon. I'll change the font to something more friendly like Pacifico and change the color to match the brand. If you know the exact hex code for your color, click on the circular icon here and change it here. And as you can see, you can change the font size, the alignment, and the style here. This is a really cool feature when it comes to selecting fonts. Up here, there are two buttons. One reads ours and the other reads yours. If you have a font that is installed on your computer that you want to use in your design, you can choose it here. Cool, huh? I'm going to change my font for this text as well. Okay, so let's say that you want this heart icon to be below the text above, as an example. You can do that by clicking to select and select the layer icon, which allows you to move your layer forward, backwards to the top, which your layer goes to the furthest front of all of your layers, or the bottom, which brings that layer to the very back. Just be careful where you place these because it becomes almost impossible to reselect them. Okay, I'm ready to save my design. Make sure you are done before you close out of this window. Saving means that you're downloading to your computer. Sharing means that you are going to share it on social media. Regardless, once it's saved or shared, the image is no longer available in a layered format where you can further edit it. So keep this open until you are certain you are done. I'll go ahead and download it to my computer by clicking save. I can save it as a JPEG in high quality or as a PNG for best quality. Click on the Save to Computer button and I'll save it onto my computer. Now I can go to my Facebook page and upload it as my new cover when I'm ready. One last thing I want to cover is if you're looking to create a pretty cool collage, the classic feature is pretty cool. You can create nice collages and even add clip art and text to your design. So go ahead and play with this and have fun with your creative side. And I want to thank Candy from Photojet.com for bringing this tool to my attention to share with all of you. See you in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you give us a like on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash I brand your business.